Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Happy Healthy Smiles. Thanks so much for joining me. My name is Farah. I'm a registered dental hygienist. And today we're going to talk about cavities. Can cavities be reversed? And if so, how? Well, it really depends on where the cavity is and how big it is. So a lot of the cavities usually occur between the contact point of the teeth, right here in between here, here. And a lot of times when your peop uh, people don't floss, don't brush well, this is a very common area to get cavities in between. And we see these on the x-rays. And I'll show you what it looks like. So this white part is your enamel, and the yellow part is your dentin, and this is your pulp chamber, which feeds the tooth. Now, as you can see, there's a black mark here. That's to show it's like a shadow that occurs on the x-ray we see. And if it hasn't gone all the way through the enamel, if it's very small, um, that's the first stage of the cavity. So this can be arrested. It's called an incipient cavity. And it, if you take care of your oral hygiene, your diet, it won't develop into a bigger cavity. Now, if this goes into a bigger cavity, it'll go into a second stage where it'll spread more and you'll go into the what I call the third stage and it's gone through the dentin and, it's, and the enamel first and then gone through the dentin. So that definitely will have to be um, taken care of and have a filling done here. Now the fourth stage is when the cavity is really large and it goes all the way to the pulp chamber. This can be very sensitive and it usually ends up being a root canal if it's really large and it's right by the uh, pulp. So remember how it started off? Very small, it hasn't gone through the enamel and then it'll go to the second stage where it goes all the way through the enamel and then the third stage where it's gone through the dentin fourth stage when it's right into the pulp chamber. So floss your teeth, brush well, take care of your diet, have regular checkups, and when we do x-rays we can find these cavities early on and to help you um, prevent getting them bigger. I hope this helps and if you have any questions, comments, please leave them below. Otherwise I'll see you soon. Bye.